Lateral geniculate body. Now, an important point over here is the lateral geniculate body has six layers in it. The first and the second layer, then third, fourth, fifth and sixth layers. Now, the first and second layers are termed as the magnocellular layer or the magnocellular pathway, right? And the third to sixth layers are termed as the parvocellular layer or the parvocellular pathway. When we think about the function of these two different pathways, magnocellular pathway is exclusively concerned with the movement of the eyeball. That's nothing but your extraocular movement. Whereas parvocellular pathway is mainly concerned with color vision. Right? So magnocellular is for extraocular movement. Parvocellular is for color vision. Now we have already seen that the striate cortex constitutes the occipital cortex. Right. However, there are certain extra striate locations which also deal with vision. These are the parietal and temporal cortex. These together are termed as the extra striate cortex. Now, another important point for the exam is Mayer's loop. These are nothing but the fibers arising from the parvocellular pathway which form a loop before reaching this extra striate cortex that is the temporal cortex. Similarly, there is another loop called the Baum's loop, right? Now, these fibers, as you can guess, will be from the magnocellular pathway, which form a loop again before entering the other extra striate cortex. That's nothing but your parietal cortex. Mm -hmm.